I made all of the assets and the asset pack available for free in the description below. Let's start. Right click UI image and call it background and then attach the sprite. And do this for the border and for the fill layers as well. Select all three game objects, set their size to native size, then create an empty parent game object, call it health bar, set the children to stretch. Now you can position it whatever you want and you can play around with the colors. I intentionally made the sprites white for this purpose. Select the fill game object, set the image type to filled and then the method to horizontal. Now add a slider component to the health bar, disable interactability, set the transition to none and the navigation to none and drag the fill into the fill rect slot. Then anchor the health bar to the upper left corner. Create a new script, call it health bar, include the Unity Engine UI, create a slider variable, a gradient variable, and a image fill variable. This first method is going to be used to initialize the health bar. So it's going to set it to the max value, and it's also going to set the color to the initial color that we get from the gradient. The second method is just going to be used to update the health value and also the color from the gradient. Attach the script to the health bar, set the references, and you can change the gradient. So in my case, when the health is full, it's going to be red, and when it's low, it's going to be yellow. Now I'm going to create a health manager script. This is just going to have a maximum health value and the current health value, and it's going to have a reference to the health bar. In the start, we're just going to initialize everything. And by the way, you can get the scripts in the description below. Then we're going to create the public void take damage, which is just going to update the current health and it's going to update the health bar as well. All that's left to do is just call the take damage method when the player takes damage. For this simple example, I'm going to use the update method and check what, when the G key is pressed and I'm just going to deal damage. Now just attach the health manager script to the player and press play.